problems have been kept secret. This is one of those places that I'm going to put my opinion in the top. 99% of this is facts. It's probably kind of boring medical stuff. But my opinion is, is that it is the rural small town that has been subjected to the dominance by big coal, the corporations. These poor people, they don't have the money to push for the studies to happen. And so they don't have them. It's only in the last three or four years that the studies are really starting to happen. And so what we know about it is still very limited, with the exception of knowing what mercury does. It's a really a very fresh growing body knowledge because now people are interested and they're spending the money. I'm going to read you a quote. There's a doctor in Kentucky that testified before the Kentucky uh, legislature. While the statistics can be overwhelming, we must remember that behind each number is a story. A family, an individual, a child who's suffering has paid the silent cost of our dependence on coal. Dr. Epstein, 2008. He's since gone on to do some very nice studies. Dust. Dust is the big topic for tonight, breathing clean air. But you can't isolate the issues of coal mining to just the dust. It's a much bigger picture. There are some coincidences that are too bad to, to, to be, if you say coincidence is too good to be true, at least are too bad to be true. Hazard, Kentucky, the dominant industry is coal mining. They've been taken over by coal mining. The average life expectancy is 55 years. The average life expectancy in the rest of the United States right now is about 80. Three boys in one family all died of various cancers before they were 35. These are things that got ignored because they didn't have the money to push for studies. So, why coal is toxic? Well, coal is toxic because it contains heavy metals. What you need to know about heavy metals is not necessarily every gory detail, but that when you intake those heavy metals, whether you breathe them, you drink them, you eat them, they accumulate in your body. You know, the body doesn't get rid of them. And so slowly over time, they get more and more built up in your system and more and more toxic, and that's how they become deadly. Sure, if you got exposed to an ounce of mercury, you could get sick and die in a few days. That's not really how this happens. It slowly creeps up on you, but it has the same effect. Whoops, go back. Sorry. <laughs> radioactive. Coal dust can actually be radioactive. It contains radon. They'll give you a lot of spiels about low sulfur coal. Yeah, the mutinous coal here is low sulfur, but it's not no sulfur. And that low sulfur still becomes toxic. It still it still acidifies the soil and water around it. And then benzene derivatives, another medical term, but benzene, that derivative of chemicals, are carcinogenic, and they contain these benzene. So here are the bad metals. Arsenic. Some of you know arsenic as rat poison. So you want to be drinking that, breathing it? Not so much. Lead. We all know what lead and paint does. We all have all these warnings now. Well, there's lead in this stuff, too. Mercury, we've been having our hair tested tonight for mercury. Mercury levels in lakes and streams surrounding coal mining countries, coal mining areas, and coal power plant dominant areas have made a, about 30 or 40 percent of that part of our U.S. So about 30 or 40 percent of our U.S. Is waterways, the fish toxic with too much mercury. Cadmium causes blood pressure problems, vanadium can cause lung damage and birth defects, selenium can cause liver failure, fluid in your lungs you can't breathe. There are many others that are not as well studied. Okay. So this is supposed to be a 15 minute primer. I'll try to keep it to the point. We're going to talk about dust, water, from mining, we're going to talk about the processing, the transportation, combustion, combustion waste, or ash. Because all of these factor together. Our area is looking at a coal mine, but there are actually people in our leadership that want to put a coal-fired power plant right over here next to you guys in Palmer. So you need to know about combustion and the ash, too. What this sums up is that coal is actually creates much more expensive electricity than you think. There are what we call external costs. First of all, there's all those health effects, all the money that's spent on those. 
What is a human life worth? Well, hard to put a number on that. There's all the road damage. There's the environmental degradation. You realize in the state of Kentucky, out of 89 abandoned mines, the companies just bellied up, never got reclaimed. Only eight, one of those have been reclaimed. So 88 of them still sit unreclaimed. Well, who pays to reclaim those mines? We all do in taxes. So when you add all those things up, Dr. Epstein finally did a study about what's the true cost of coal. It comes to about $500 billion a year. And so if you were to actually factor that into what you pay for electricity, your electricity is actually costing you three or four times what you think it is.